Hey, so like many things out here, this pseudobombax is flowering during the dry season. Look at that bud. Look at all those goddamn stamens. Look at that bud. Malvasi is the family. All right, multiple stamens, and then there's the style. You can see there's a, a little bee or a... Oh, this thing's not going to focus now, apparently. A little bee or a wasp uh, just going to town on it, just coating that... Uh, that style must be exuding some sort of nectar or something, too, for that uh, that bee to be hanging out. Who knows? This is very obviously uh, bat pollinated, though it would seem, but it's probably uh, it's evidently utilizing bees as well. The main plant is over there. This is just the branch. Whole thing is leafless. A lot of stuff is flowering right now while it's leafless, while it's in the dormant season. Okay, the dry season again. This is the seasonally uh, seasonally dry subtropical vegetation due to that uh, ITCZ that. Uh, uh, into tropical convergence zone you know basically just the the tilt of the earth so you get these seasonally dry areas so it's peculiar that a lot of stuff flowers when it's leafless okay it's much different from uh, how we do it in north america you know when things are dormant it's winter here things are dormant when it's dry you get the same type of vegetation all over the world at the particular uh, latitude i can't get over how many goddamn stamens there are there. look at it you got ants on that thing too and kind of a succulent stem Almost looks like a plumeria stem. Look at how those perianth parts just, just unfurl, just all twisted and wrapped up. Once that bud opens, that's, you know, they just end up all wrapped up like confetti. That style is so, man, what is going on with that? What is it, the? Uh, it's not going to zoom in. I wish I could get a nice money shot of that, uh, that stigma at the end of that style. I'm curious what's going on there. What the shit is this? Those look like extra floral nectaries, huh? Is that what's going on? You got the ants going there. I'm surprised they're not attacking me. I haven't been bit yet. Oh, maybe they're coming. Oh, oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Ow. See that tree I just showed you? It's standing over all of that cleared land. That's a pseudobombax too. See that big one? That's how big they can get. <laughs> God. Here's a plant that obviously evolved with uh, large herbivores. You can see we're looking over this cleared pasture. We're going to look at that, uh, that tree over there. I'm pretty sure that's a pseudobombax as well. Oh yeah, you can see the flowers up there. So they can turn into large trees. Okay, so that uh, that uh, individual I showed you back there was uh, evidently uh, a seedling. This is how big they can get. You can see how big this pseudobombax is. Look at that, totally leafless, flowering in the leafless dry season in the winter. Dry winters, wet summers. This land's really degraded. And there's the trunk. God, that's insane. <laughs> what a cool genus. God, man, subtropical botany, man. Jesus Christ. Look at that flower. Look at all the pollinators on that thing up there. Very successful. Less competition in the dry season if you flower then, if you could do it, if you got, you know, enough succulents and enough storage. You'd have less competition. Be more, be, uh, be more insured that you'll get uh, your flowers pollinated. Or you got, you know, you got a taco store around? You got like a little taco cart or something? Sir? Come on. Hey. Look at his legs. He, he must shave. Maybe he's a maybe he's a bicyclist. You one of those guys in the Speedos and stuff? Yo, you got a little ploof thing. Are you a punker? See, you got that iron-rich red dust everywhere. Seasonally dry subtropical forest. Hey, it's more like seasonally dry subtropical scrub, seasonally dry subtropical woodland. And there's a, a species, well, a genus that does it so well. This is Voichizia, Voichiziaceae, with those yellow flowers, looking like a little boot. A little boot with the, uh, it's got a nectar spur on it. But you can see sclerophyll vegetation, glabrous, waxy, evergreen. Looks like it's getting some sort of... Uh, fungus on it look at that coriaceous too very leathery leathery leaves there's the fruit three lobes I mean, great structure to that tree too and here's what the bark looks like kind of corky you see that i loved i love this sclerophyll vegetation so much and you see so many plants converging on the same vegetative traits let's see where all that red dust comes from these iron rich rocks weathering it's a member of Asteraceae over there, as you can see by that the inflorescence, or series of inflorescences on the right. And then this uh, Cyagoras palm is also very common. You see the inflorescence with a little cup, little cup-like bract on it. 
Look at that, a dwarf palm. And then there's that some damn Vernonia tribe of Asteraceae. This is a member of Asteraceae. This is a sunflower family. This has been a somewhat dominant tree uh, where we've been. You can see the flowers. Single floret flower head. So one single flower coming out of each flower head. But a bunch of uh, flower heads aggregated together in a pseudo capitulum, like a pseudo head. See that? Yeah, you, know, you can see those little pink tubes coming out of those. Is that a case of syncephaly? But those are Asteraceae florets. You see those with those little white stars with the uh, fused anther tubes and the uh, styles poking out. And there's the leaves right there. You can see they got a white underside or a lighter underside. Blooming now during the dry winter. Look at it. You got the you got a cactus hiding here. Hiding in the shade. I wonder what the rainfall is like here in the summer. Season, dry season, of course, is winter, but you get a little bit more rain in the summer. Look at it. Now we're up on top. I set it about 20 feet. You got this quartzitic sand. All right, just uh, weathered a quartzite. There's that boychizia again. Got that uh, stigma coming up, that style and stigma, and then the, the stamens are closer to the center of the flower. They don't get too, they don't get too large. At least not on any that I've seen. And look, this tree vernonia, this white leaf thing is everywhere. Look at that adaptation to the uh, hot and dry. Look at those leaves. Jesus Christ. Covered in tiny hairs. Look at this. Tiny little portulaca. Woolly as hell. Portulacaceae. Sister family uh, to the uh, cactus family. the hell is this thing? Lamiales is the order. Bilaterally symmetrical flowers. Opposite leaves. There's the flower. It looks like it'd be verbenaceae, but I've been so uh, kind of blown away and off the uh, totally wrong about some of the families I've been supposing things are, are in that uh, don't trust me. Either way, coriaceous leaves. Got a uh, rusty indumentum on the underside, but you also got this rusty, uh, this rusty red dust too, which has been covering some of the leaves, but that actually looks like it's uh, the plant doing it. Look at that texture. Totally adapted to this uh, seasonally dry subtropical woodland that we're in.